What's good everyone, OJ here, welcome back to another video. Today we've got some awesome information for you guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're starting off with Pedro the Flute Guy at the Game Awards. Yes, this guy means love, he means life, he means happiness, and he's one of the greatest things that's ever happened to the Game Awards of all time. One of the greatest things in gaming was seeing Flute Guy absolutely go ham on the flute. This guy was playing as if it was his last performance ever. This guy was playing as if it was in front of the biggest audience that he's ever seen in his life. This guy was playing like his heart was on the line, like everything was on the line. And I love that passion. Now, Flute Guy has spoken out because Flute Guy was trending. Flute Guy was everywhere. People were talking about Flute Guy. People wanted to know the man behind the flute. And he had this to say on Twitter. Hi, this is Pedro Eustache. You guys know me as Flute Guy. And I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your absolutely amazing response all over social media after the Game Awards of last night. God bless you. So that was awesome to see Flute Guy in all of his old school Jerry Curl action. I love the hairstyle. It's like Easy e back in the day mixed with Flute Guy performance music. I mean, it's just super cool. Flute Guy needs to be back. I want to see Mr. Pedro E back at the Game Awards, Mr. Jeff Keighley. I want to see him back. And not only does he need to be busting out the flute for some sweet tunes for all of us to listen to, but Flute Guy actually needs to be a presenter next year. I want to see him present the OST or best music of the year. This guy, Flute Guy, is the man. He is a myth. He is a legend, and we should all be very happy that Flute Guy blessed us with his incredible tunes and his awesomeness of switching different instruments and doing all sorts of stuff. He was into it. You could clearly see that Flute Guy was the one that really wanted this performance to be well done. Flute Guy was performing as if this was going to go down as the greatest show of all time. That's the type of passion that I like to see. I love to see that energy and entertainment, and it was just fun. So shout outs to Flute Guy, shout outs to Keely for getting Flute Guy and everybody else that played with the symphony, and let's bring Flute Guy back. Hashtag Flute Guy, let this man know that he is loved and people love the performance that he had last night. I know I enjoyed it. Flute Guy needs to be back, plain and simple. So what are your thoughts on Flute Guy and his awesome performance at the Game Awards? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, and moving on to the next topic here, guys. We're going to be discussing the crazy thing that's happening, or at least continuing to happen, in Japan with the Nintendo Switch. So we're going to break down some of the stuff that's going on, and let's talk first about the Nintendo Switch's sales numbers for the past five weeks. I've been crunching them up, and I've been looking, and I've just said this once, I'll say it again. Nobody is talking about this because this is unheard of for a system in its sixth year, calendar year, on the market you just don't see systems selling this well in japan at all and the nintendo switch is getting it done it recently crossed 27 million units in japan and things aren't really slowing down too much so in the last five weeks in japan the nintendo switch had sold 667,124 units over half a million units in the last five weeks in japan once again you don't see that very often, even in the holiday period or so. I think Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has been a big boost to the Nintendo Switch sales. Now, in the last three weeks since Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has launched, the Nintendo Switch has sold 479,104 units. It is averaging over 150,000 units per a week, a little bit over that which is really crazy to see. Now, when Pokemon launched, it sold 170,000 units plus, and it just seems like more and more people, despite the Switch being so popular, are still continuing to buy the system. And once again, I have not seen a system this old put up these type of numbers. Now, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in Japan, just physical, no digital sales, has already crossed 3.4 million units in Japan in the past three Famitsu sales numbers. Estimated, no digital sales. Like, you just don't see this with systems that old. When the PlayStation 4 was six years old or so, it was not getting systems like this and definitely wasn't happening like that in Japan. So to see the Nintendo Switch do this, and speaking of the PS4, it's probably already passed up the PS4 at this point. We'll get an update on that when Nintendo does their sales at the end of the year, but it's just, once again, 
crazy to see how well the Nintendo Switch is doing. And like I said, I was just going over the numbers and I'm like, wait a minute, has any other system kind of done this? I don't think any system has done this this late into the life cycle outside of maybe the PlayStation 2. And that system was alive for a lot more than six years. It continued even after the PS3 came out. So very interesting overall, very crazy to see. But once again, Switch with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is doing crazy numbers not just here in japan but also around the world the fact that it came second in mpd with god of war ragnarok out and with sony shifting all of its focus to the u.s because we did hear the sales numbers when it comes to or at least the positional charts when it comes to the uk the nintendo switch was the best selling system in the uk and that is sony land so definitely sony was skimping out on stock in the uk and kind of allocated things over to the us because the switch kind of bodied everybody else according to the game industry.biz and christopher dring out there saying that it sold for like 40 percent plus of these sales when it comes down to it for november so big sales pretty much across the world not just here in the us japan uk everywhere switch is still kind of putting up some large numbers so what are your thoughts on this guys when it comes to the sales numbers and what we're seeing with pokemon let me know in the comment section below. All right, and moving on to the next topic here, guys. We've got some new information and a new website for Fire Emblem Engage. There's some crazy stuff going on with this game, and I like it because the Fire Emblem world has officially launched, and we get a good look at the 12 emblem rings and if you don't know the full lineup well we're gonna go over them so let's go ahead and start from the beginning and then work our way all the way up so we have marth selica sigurd leaf roy lynn erica ike makaya lucina corn and violet and then we also got the expansion pass that's going to give you claude dimitri and edelgard all on one band plus also tiki as well so a lot of different emblem rings already included in and then with the expansion pass and then they're going to be adding more as well now out of all of these characters i think i'm definitely most excited to see my boy roy roy's our boy roy and leaf i like leaf i like roy i like lynn and i also like ike i also like lucina Makai is good too. Like, there's a lot of good characters. Makai is a crazy magician. So, I love to see them bust out these different Fire Emblem characters. I love this style. This is just a dope game. Like, it's the game that I wanted Fire Emblem Heroes to be on a console, not mobile, though, and to be able to play in this type of way without the actual gotcha mechanics of paying the money for it and orbs and all of that. Now, if you want to learn more about Fire Emblem Engage, but also the history of Fire Emblem and these characters, you can read up on each one of them their backstory what happened and everything so this is really cool and nintendo has put out this website for people to go there and kind of learn more about the fire emblem lore and history because all the fire emblem games are always awesome to play but if you know about the characters and their history it's going to make fire emblem engage even better although it's not mandatory but it's definitely going to make it better in my opinion and i also want to point out here another thing with fire emblem engage we do have updated pre-order numbers from the comg in japan shout out to my man pierre 485 and he has stated that fire emblem engage is now over 100 pre-orders at the comg now the debut for the game should be well above fire emblem three houses in japan now for those who don't know fire emblem three houses launched at 143,130 units in three days so i'm guessing that fire emblem engage is going to be well above that maybe 200,000 or so we're gonna have to wait and see there still is more than a month before the game launches so there's still more pre-orders coming in we have the expansion pass that they talked about people are hyped for this this is going to be a hyped game in japan when it comes down to it and i think that it's going to sell really well worldwide too fire emblem three houses is the best selling fire emblem game over four million units i think that fire emblem engage is going to take that crown now that we're three years plus later or so and we've got a lot more nintendo switch systems out there and you're probably going to bring in a lot of fire emblem heroes fans and also awakening fans too so this is awesome so what are your thoughts on this guys when it comes to fire emblem engage and what is going on with these pre-orders what's going on with fire emblem world I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, and moving on to the final topic here. This is a pretty cool looking game that I haven't covered on the channel at this point, and that is Blue 
protocol. So, publisher Amazon Games and developers Bandai Namco Online and Bandai Namco Studios will release free-to-play multiplayer online action RPG Blue Protocol for the PS5, Xbox Series, and PC via Steam worldwide in the second half of 2023, the company's announced. A closed beta test for PC will run in the first half of 2023. And I was super excited, and then I heard online action RPG, which I kind of knew that already, but I thought there'd maybe be like a single player mode, you know, but hey. Uh, we'll see. Let's talk about this, alright guys? So, developed by Bandai Namco Online and Bandai Namco Studios and published by Amazon Games, Blue Protocol is a free-to-play multiplayer online action RPG where you become a hero of your very own sci-fi fantasy adventure. Explore the beautiful and dangerous world of Regnas in an immersive multiplayer experience with deep character customization and action-packed combat. A vast world and immersed adventure? You are on a quest to uncover the truth about your origins. On your travels, you meet people from many worlds and make new friends with whom you share your adventures. Eventually, you find yourself facing an inescapable destiny that will determine the fate of planet Regnus. The overuse of technology has created a distortion of space-time, which will eventually engulf planet Regnus and cause its destruction. To change that fate, you and your friends must travel to an unknown world in search of the truth and a solution. Learn more about the vast world of Regnas and the world page and get a glimpse into the immersive adventure experience on the story page. Nice stuff. So you have action-packed combat. So we're going to talk about that and we'll talk about some of the customization as well. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an advanced player. The action-based combat system features controls that are customizable and able to match any playstyle. Your class is dependent on the weapons you choose, allowing you to adapt to challenges without changing your character. Switch between five different classes each with unique skills that add damage multipliers, healing, and elemental effects that can be modified and leveled up. Equip combination of skills, modifiers, and summon echoes, mystical creatures derived from the planet's power that bolster your abilities or aid you in battle to create a custom hero fit for your playstyle. There's also more about Blue Protocol's classes like the Dual Wielding Axe, Twin Striker, and the Element Manipulating Spell Weaver. Now let's talk about this deep customization. Your character is an integral part of Blue Protocol. Enhance your adventure by enjoying complete character and combat customization. Control how your character appears with custom facial features features, hairstyles, outfits, and accessories, and express their personality with gestures and dances to create a true-to-you character representative in-game. Explore the vast world with a variety of mouths and craft custom weapons and gear for a truly unique experience. So let's go ahead and get into a little bit more of the multiplayer as well, because this is where I want to focus on just a bit more with what you can do. So work together as a team with other players to tackle quests, fight boss battles, and engage in massive online raids against towering monsters. There are three options when entering any dungeon, raid or mission, solo, matchmaking, and recruiting parties. Solo lets players go it alone. Matchmaking randomly connects you with available players of a similar level. Recruiting parties lets you browse the parties who are taking on the same challenge. If you choose to go solo, don't neglect giving aid to someone in the same area to get bonus rewards. If you decide to make more formal arrangements, you can expect additional damage and add bonuses such as HP regen. In addition, players in party pool some items that enemies drop make it easier to complete certain quests and adventure board challenges. So it looks like they've done quite a bit here with this game and I'm looking forward to seeing how it all wraps up. I'm a little bit wary of Amazon whenever they get involved, especially when you need a publisher to publish a game because Ben and Amco is already a publisher, but they're getting a publisher to publish this. But I don't know. I'm kind of wary of Amazon and what they do based on their past. But I do think that this game could be really fun to play. Now, I'm not a big MMO guy. I will say that. Like, there's Fantasy Star Online. There's a lot of cool RPG MMOs out there. And I haven't really got into too many of them. But I am willing to give Blue Protocol a chance. I'll give it a chance on my PS5 or my Xbox or wherever I decide to play. And we'll see how it all works out. So, what are your thoughts on Blue Protocol and everything that we talked about here? Let me know in the comments section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell, and we will see you for the next video. Peace.